everyone, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing cube in PTC Pro Desktop using the drawing tools. First of all, open up a new canvas. Get rid of the palette because we won't be needing that. And tilt it to the active work plane. So it should be like that. Next, take the drawing tool of a rectangle size it up fairly well and make an ordinary square like that then and that, that should be equal if it's not equal on both sides or something doesn't look right then you can use this tool drag it out double click until this appears and change it to a reasonable size and do the same for the width, obviously. And there you have your square. Okay, up next then, we want to make our square 3D. So we want to do that. We're on Extrude Profile, and you'll notice that squares come up. And on the distance, we type 150, which should be the same. Okay. And that should be okay. Then, if you just want to make sure, go onto that view, and you have your nice cube. But that's, that's just your plain, boring cube. What you want to do is create something quite nice. So we're gonna today we are going to round the edges. But in order to do that, we need to do something called finding the faces. Selecting the face. So this is the face that we want to work on. Actually, no, scrap that. Let's put a circle in. So this is the one that we want to start on. Go on right click, new sketch, and now we are building on top of this work plane, which means if we go to view on work plane, this is the one we get. And now to put a circle in, make sure the black dot comes up so that you know you're right in the middle, and select a reasonable size. So 450, say around about 75. Of course, it won't work because your mouse isn't that accurate. So again, you get the tool, you go on this, you drag it out, and you select it to the right one. In this case, 75. Make sure it says diameter, otherwise it's going to be a different size altogether. Excellent. Then, we go on project, we go on subtract material, below work plane, and through entire part. And as you can see, the square has officially turned grey in the middle. Now we flip to 3D view and we can see that we have indeed got a hole. Now let's go on to the next one. And we do this once again by selecting the face. So there's that one. And right clicking and going on new sketch. Then, once again, go on to view work pane, and this is the work pane we're looking on now. And we do the same again. For this one. I'll catch up with you once I've done all of the holes. Okay, welcome back. I have now made all the holes. There's hole one. 
This is hole two. This is hole three. And basically you get the idea. But way that's that's still a little bit not really productive. It's just a main square with a few things in it. So if I just get out of that way, I'm going to soften up the edges, round the edges. So to do this. Use any I suggest this one. And let's go on. This tool, round the selected edges. Um, and now we go on OK. And there we have it. A nice orange cube with edges in it. And that. And now to make it even better and make the best background ever, we're going to go on to a new photo album. This allows you to add backgrounds, change the materials, and that's really cool special effects. So we go on image, new image, find our design, go on materials, and let's make the home of this. Hmm, let's say brick because that's the one that comes out best. There we go. Click on the green traffic light and we now have a brick design. For the background, if you want to go on custom, that's probably the best. How about leopard? A bit confusing. Rubble wall. Nice and plain. You can change your background to a gradient if you want. Then, you, if you want to go on image properties, you can change the lighting. So let's change it to floodlights. Standard lens, otherwise it's going to look a bit freaky. Um, the foreground. How about we have some? How about we have some? Some snow. Good. we have it. Slight floodlights. So if we change the angle of our cube, and uh, just want to change the lighting so it's normal again, you can see that it works perfectly and you've got everything you need. If you, if you want to change it even further, you can go on to material properties, which should have come up, but Ah, oh, there you go. Set material properties. Or you can select different brick colours. For the texture, I'm going to do 1.2 because it's a tad too small, but only because that's the resolution that we've got. Um, we go on. Let's change the brick colour to nice blue and a greeny colour. And Moltar can be that colour. How about that? What a funky, smooth, whole cube design we have made using PTC Pro Desktop, which is freely available for design technology teachers and also freely available for schools as long as you take a three day course or you can buy it. Um, I think now it's called something like. Um, PTC Pro Engineer. It looks like it's the same software, but if you want to get the best results, ask PTC for this type of software. Thanks for watching.